Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm actually not very well at the moment um, and I've done some plant shopping. So this is going to be um, an unboxing video. Just really quickly thought I'd hop on and unbox it with you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm going to waste no time and just get into it straight away. Okay, so I have literally just taken my address details off the top. So let's have a look at what's inside. So I don't have any carnivorous plants at the moment and I haven't had before, um, and not in my own collection, but I did used to look after um, lots of carnivorous plants in the houseplant um sh well garden center i used to work in i used to um work in the houseplant section so i have cared for them before and i know their care needs obviously i've researched them um this is actually from a specialist house plant oh, sorry carnivorous plant supplier um called hewitt cooper carnivorous plants which is based uh really quite close to me actually it's just in the ne next county over um which is why i'm like even more excited to get these because i do like supporting more local um local businesses um i've been wanting to get some carnivorous plants for a while just because i think they're really interesting they're like nothing nothing else in my collection um and i'm also having a fungus gnat issue at the moment so i thought two birds one stone let's get some carnivorous plants just looking for an excuse really but Anyway, here we are. So I've only got three because I didn't want to go like crazy. Um, my first carnivorous plant um, experience. Um, and they are all, uh, I can't say the word, but I will put it in the, I'll put it on the screen now um, so you can see. Um, and then the, basically on the website, it breaks it down into um, different, uh like categories so these i can't remember exactly what they are i think they're subtropical if that's wrong i will subtropical? i'm not sure if that's wrong I'll, I'll have a look and i'll correct myself on the screen um but it basically means that they are beginner friendly and they don't die back in the winter which is what i wanted so yes as you can see blue paper So let's go for this one first. Oh, they come with little labels, how helpful. And it even. Oh, okay, so I knew that they were like bog plants, um, but actually says to stand them in two inches of rainwater all year minimum of seven degrees okay interesting so this one it says on there as well was seven pound fifty I was pretty interested to see how these were going to come because obviously the nature of them is that they're sticky so interesting they've used like a cling film type thing which i'll probably keep and reuse to be honest oh cute it's tiny okay that is very very cute oh look it comes with a dead spider <laughs> Okay, so there we go. You can see the dead spider at the top there. Very, very sweet. I want to touch it, but I definitely should not touch it. So anyway, that is, and let's stick the labels in them. Honestly, I wasn't going to be just put it in there like they're supposed to. Kind of. Okay, so that is the first one. I've got mud everywhere. Second one. Oh, 
I didn't even attempt to say the name of this song. Um, yeah, um, having looked at it, I'm not going to attempt to say the name of that one. Um, this one was £6.50. If I can see it sticking through the top. So we've just made a little sort of hole in the top and gone round and get it off. Oh, that is so sweet. Okay. Um, it's got quite a lot of bits that I would pull off. Maybe I shouldn't mess with it right now, but I probably will. Um, and you can see, actually, it's got some, some of the compost is just stuck to the... And get off. Or is it a fly? I don't think it's a fly. No, I think it's a compost. Okay, right. It's obviously got loads. It's actually just started growing, as you can see. But the sort of red. Let's see if I can point to it a bit. Am I going to be able to do that? Possibly not. Okay. So hopefully you can see. That the that bit like sticking up there is looks like a kind of new one, and then there's loads in the middle, which look to be like I don't know what they are. Are they leaves? I'm kind of thinking that they're not leaves, um, but they're like waiting to unfurl. So cool! It's like this super super lime green, and then it's got these bright red. I don't know what they're called. Things. But yeah, so there's three out at the moment, and then there looks to be another one, two, six that are like to be unfurled. Um, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, same thing. So two inches of rainwater all year round. Okay, that's pretty easy care. So keep on top of that. And actually, I need to get some dishes. I'll, I'll get some makeshift ones for now. Um, but I will try and find some like square ones that actually fit because I mean I don't think they're going to grow out of those pots for quite a while so if I can just get some quite deep they will need to be quite deep something I'll figure that out um this one is bigger than the other two. <gasps> oh my god look at that that is so cool I'm so excited for these Okay, and then this one was also £6.50, and yeah, same thing, uh, one to two inches of water, which is easy, because that means I could potentially just get like a long container thing and stand them all inside. Oh, I'm so excited about this. How cool does that look? Really good way of packaging it as well, with the three stakes. And it looks like it's done a really good job, they don't look damaged at all. Okay, I'm trying to work out if these are flies on here or if they are bits of compost that have kind of flown onto it in shipping. I think, I think it's all compost, so I will take those off. Oh my goodness, though, I am so excited about this. Right, let's try and get these out of here. Okay, and then they have used a, why have I forgotten the name, elastic band um, to hold this down as well, which is again a really good idea. 
from the pen. Okay, um, how do I get this off? Okay, there it is. You see how cute they are? Like, again, that lime lime green with the um, the red. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of ones that are obviously have gone over, and I'm guessing that's just normal. Um, I'm not worried about that at all. And then the same thing. They've actually got this one looks a bit yellow. That's the only one actually see what looks a bit yellow compared to the others um and then it's got uh one two three four five six it looks like six coming out so really hoping that all of these are going to continue to come out and not um you know flake because of the shipping uh kind of going to be in the way with that one Hmm. Maybe I'll just use the elastic band actually and do that. So I definitely don't want to forget which ones are which. Um, yes, so that is very exciting. I'm going to just like kick some of this. There's just tiny bits of compost uh, stuck to them. So I'm going to try and just pick that off really, really delicately i don't know if that's advisable but that's what i'm gonna do um and then hopefully they can get to work dealing with some of the fungus gnats i'm experiencing at the moment and help me out with those um but yeah so that is the three that i've got they are all that one is completely different this actually looks a bit more like a pingricula um just in the in the way that it you know with the I don't know, just looks more like a pingricula. It's not. Um, it's also a fungi. And then these two are quite similar. Um, this is like a mini version of this. I mean, obviously, there's loads of different types, but this is called a mini rosette. So this has like the longer, I don't know what they're called. I should have done some more research, but these, these bits are longer. And then this one, they're just like little tiny round things. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to do some more research. Um, I'm going to get them situated somewhere cold, um, like the um, little information pack advised. Um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, not a long one. I just thought I'd bring you along with me with my unboxing. So I hope you enjoyed. And um, yeah, if you did, please like the video and if you could subscribe to my channel that would be appreciated. Thanks very much, see you in the next one, bye!